King is here, Lenny, right? But we got a special guest that just popped in. He's been Boston's best the last three years. He's opened up for Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, and you're gonna love him. The one, the only, Paul D'Angelo, let him Relief. 
because so much pressure. The most pressure a man can be under to buy a present is to buy the wife or girlfriend a birthday gift or a Christmas present. Do you know why? Doesn't need to be that difficult. Doesn't need to be that, that tough. The reason is because even though it might make the most sense, it might be the most practical thing you could do. The one thing you could never, ever get the wife or girlfriend for a Christmas or birthday gift is a gift certificate. Why? Because we have been told over and over again that it takes no thought to get a gift certificate. It actually takes more thought than you can imagine. So the next time your wife yells at you and says, I can't believe you got me a gift certificate for Christmas. This took absolutely no thought whatsoever. Your answer should be you have no idea how much thought went into buying you this gift certificate. First, I thought about buying you a gift, but I didn't know what to get you. So I thought, and I thought, and I thought some more, but I still couldn't think of anything you really need. So then I thought about going to the mall and looking around. But then I thought about wandering around aimlessly for hours and hours and still having no idea what the hell you could possibly want. Then I thought about getting frustrated, spending a lot of money to buy something you're probably not going to even like anything. Then I thought about you complaining, though, what'd you get this far? This is stupid. I hate it. What the hell are you thinking? Then I thought about muttering under my breath, and maybe next year I won't get you nothing. Then I thought about that starting a big fight. Then I thought about the fight leading towards breaking up. Then I thought about you getting bitter and taking your car key and dragging it across the side of my brand new car. Then I thought about having to get a restraining order against you. Then I thought about you asking for a divorce and trying to get half my stuff. Then I thought for just a second about killing you and burying you in the backyard. But then, suddenly, I thought to myself the possibility that I could be single again. And then I thought that maybe I could meet a pretty young girl with a nice ass and a trust fund. I appreciate all the things I do and doesn't give me a hard time like some other people I know. But then I snapped out of it and said, you know, on second thought, 